If you're looking to earn income on the road, this is for you. If you're living on the road and you're wondering how are we going to make ends meet, what are we going to do? We need to generate some revenue. We've got to do some things. This is for you. Are you at a crossroads in your life? Are you in one of those careers that you, have, you know that it's not working for you, that it's basically killing you? This is for you. The things we're living through today, there's so much negative things going on. Well, let me tell you, there are positives, but you've got to seek them out. And I want you to know this is for you. Come join us. We'll be able to have conversation. You'll be able to hear dialogue from others, individuals, and it'll open your eyes to opportunities that are available for you in the recreational vehicle industry. There are technician positions available. There's inspector positions available. And there's other things that, you know, you just never realize that once you open a door, all the things that are made available to you, this time is that for you to seek out new opportunities. Come join us. There's a link below. Sign up. Come be a part of something that will change your life. Step out of the realm of fear and be a part of someone who's saying, I'm going forward with my life. Sign up below so that way you can be part of a free webinar so we can share with you opportunities that are available to you. Don't give up. There is hope. It's not one of those kick, get rich quick things. That's not where this is at. We want to shoot some straight with you on this one because I feel like that a lot of people are hurting. When I get the emails and phone messages that I've gotten here just even the last week, there's a lot of people that are in a lot of uh, fear. Uh, a lot of them, there's some depression going on. So I, I want to ask you, why are you here? You know, are, are you one of those that maybe got downsized? Uh, maybe you've looked at this job, you know, you, you've had a chance to spend some time with the family, kind of being sheltered in a little bit, and you realize that, you know what, I can't get back on that plane and become a road warrior again. I, I, I've got to, you know, my family, my relationship is too important. You know, what's going on? What's causing this? Why are you taking a look at things? Because I will tell you, we all know that anytime there's chaos, there's opportunity. But sometimes we have to kind of dig through this thing and look for the positives. And that's, I guess that's really what I want to offer you is there are, there is hope and there's opportunities. I mean, today we had a situation where we had one of the vice presidents with one of the large dealerships here in the state of Texas came to visit the school and interviewed some of the students said, I'm looking for technicians. And we had a young man in here that this guy had he had been working at one of the pizza stores and he said, I had seen something about you guys. I had your brochure, but I just couldn't put the dollars together to come. And he said, so what I've done is every time I got paid, I put aside $50, $50, $50. And he showed up to take the class. Now this young man is motivated, really motivated. Well, I mean, when this VP laid eyes on him and saw he was and began to talk to him, next thing you know, there's an interview going on and this young man now has a job. So what he's doing right now, he's got one more week of training and he'll be able to take his certified. So this young man knew where he was going because he told me, he said, I'm, <laughs> pizza's great, that's not, but that's not where I want to be. I want to do something with my life. I, and he's like in his early 20s, he just got married. So he sees that he needs something. And he said, Mr. Cooper, I know there's opportunities out there because I keep seeing it. Hi, I'm Tony Clark. I'm the Vice President of Operations for Ron Hoover RV and Marine. Uh, we've got 10 stores in the Texas market, and I'm always looking for people. I know Terry pretty well, so I decided to come out today to visit the the facility here at the NRVTA and they just happen to have a class going on. Uh, if you're looking to get into this industry uh, as a dealer I'm always looking for new people and what these guys are providing whether it be mobile or whether it be coming to work for a dealer or just something that you're looking to do this is the head start that you, you need. This, uh, these guys are going to come with tools and knowledge that we'll be able to drop right in. I've actually met a few guys here today that I hope to hire uh, it's exciting. We're doing some good stuff here. And so I want to ask you, are you looking for a position? You know, you say, hey, I want to go to work for a dealership. Let's, let me just make the hourly wage. Are you looking to maybe starting your own business to where you can kind of call your own shots? 
or some of you are going to be traveling. And I mean, we see a lot of that, you know, folks are saying, you know, how can I make money on the road? There's got to be something I can do. And this is where we want to show you this afternoon the opportunities that are out there. Now, I'm just going to step back and say, let's take a look at the mobile stuff. Because right now, that seems to be the hottest thing because there's a lot of people out there that are living in these RVs and there's just, there's no way to get them into the shops. I mean, this VP told us that he's got He's got customers that are waiting up to four months for parts and supplies. And he said they may still be living in their unit, but they're having to do without because they haven't got the parts in. And he said, so I've got people that are waiting and they're going to continue to wait till these supplies and parts get in. And he said, I, I can't do dispatch because he said, I don't have enough people to even handle what I've got in my shop. But he said, I would love to be able to run mobile. So I want you to think about this because this may be something that you could do and make some serious dollars. You say, okay, what are we talking about? How does 100 to $150 an hour sound? I came here for the basic maintenance and to get registered. I came down for the level one class. And I just finished the uh, level one inspection class. Become a registered RV tech. I loved it. This class was amazing. So I really enjoyed this week. I was a little worried um, beforehand because a lot of this information was going to be completely new to me. Their process here is very efficient. The people were really nice. The helpers were awesome at quickly answering every question we had. And they make me want to learn more about the RV industry. Gave you a lot of theory as well as hands-on application. I found that Todd was great at telling stories and making jokes. He put a little humor in there and made it to where I didn't feel so threatened about learning such new information. All the instructors, all the advanced techs were very helpful, very knowledgeable, very friendly. I learned everything that I was doing wrong with my RV so I know how to better handle it. We have a fantastic facility, great building, great people. It's all well worth it for anyone to come down and get the experience. Whether you're an individual owner or you want to become a tech. I feel like I learned so much and I can feel so much more independent while my husband and I are living in our RV full time. It's really a top-notch program. I would definitely highly recommend this to anybody. It's been uh, the opportunity of a lifetime for me to be here and I thank all the people for all their hard work setting it up the way that they have. Thank you. Folks, I've been where some of you are right now. I know what it's like to try to feed a family and you're thinking, where's the dollars going to come from? You know, and, you, and your guts are ripped out because you put everything you had in that organization or everything in that business that you did and it, it's, it fell apart on you. But if you will sign up to the nrvta.com and go on to the, the RV maintenance course and put in Zoom, what we will do is we will activate the home study option. Now the home study, what we did was, is when we were traveling around the country, for one year we recorded every class that we did. And then we took the best of the best and we put it on a thumb drive and now we have loaded it onto the, onto the website. So you can now come in and access it. So if you signed up, let's say today, I can have you already taking classes and getting yourself familiar. And what will happen is you'll find yourself already starting to work on some things. Hi, I'm Donna. I'm Michael. So Mike and I have met in eighth grade. Um, we've been together for 41 years. We um, have two children and five grandchildren, and we actually are still in love. And we live in so. 230 square feet, so we must be in love. So our goals are to be able to go out and start our own business. Um, we're hoping that the training that we receive here at the NRVTA Training Center will pave the road for us to go further and do our own business um, as inspectors. and. Mike as the mechanical part of this. So um, we've heard a lot of good things about this training and people's success stories and we're hoping that we can duplicate that as a couple. So far the training has been very great. It's a lot of, lot of knowledge. We have a lot of history behind us. I have um, worked at many positions. Um, I was a executive director at a nonprofit for many years which was very um, rewarding to me to work with people and, and kids in needs. I started out as electric mechanical technician. Um, 
worked with electronics for 35, 36 years. We, um, we recently, um, we just left our job to start this position full time. We were actually natural gas survey technicians for a few years and we got to see a lot of the countryside, but we have decided that we now want to do something um, for ourselves be able to help other people to enjoy the journey that we've enjoyed for several years now, the RV lifestyle, and what a better way to do it than to do inspections and Mike's mechanical, so he's going to do the mechanical side of this job. Our, our goal is to, to help other people um, experience the things that we've experienced by being able to live full-time in an RV. So I decided to do the inspection side of it because I'm a people person and, and I enjoy um, talking with the people and, and just sharing experiences and things that I've learned from the RV lifestyle. And With her being an inspector, it really helps with the code of ethics that uh, she inspects RVs and I can be a repairer technician. So the past five years we've been working uh, with the utility company doing gas leak surveys and we're what they call travelers and in traveling with other travelers um, we got to meet a lot of people in campgrounds and uh, had a lot of questions on different things on the RVs, uh, steps not working, things like that. And they always so, wanted him to fix it. So you know Having an electronic background, mechanical background, you know, I'd tinker with it and, and figure it out. But uh, now with jumping into this, um, there's a way I can make some money with helping people too. So um, this is something that we feel that is going to be really good for us for our future. Um, we're at a point in our life where we can do this, and and we're looking forward to the new challenge. We'll save you a seat. You'll come through. Now, the live version is basically the same material, but Todd Henson's the one that teaches that class. He adds so much more to it and adds how to read a volt ohm meter, how to read a, a gas pressure tester so you can check for leaks. He's also going to show you how to check for hot skin so you don't get a hold of the door handle and get electrocuted. So he's going to take you a lot deeper because you're going to be able to work on equipment here. We have travel trailers and equipment here that you can put your hands on. So even if you don't own an RV, you've got it. But the reason why I believe you need to take that home study is to get you tuned up and get you ready and get you mentally preparing for this. One of the key successes that we have found here at the National RV Training Academy is when people come they're able to put their hands on things. Now we have equipment here that we're working with and we call it the petting zoo. And the reason why it's so successful is, is that people are able to put their hands on it. What we know is we humans learn best if we can include all of the senses that we have available. Hear it, read it, touch it, smell it. And so when we have these RVs available, when we have these RV parts available, it gives everybody a chance to really put their hands on things and then they remember. We can do all the lectures, we can do all the videos that we want, but until we put our hands on it, it doesn't mean anything. Everything that you see here in the Big Red Schoolhouse, which is home of the National Army Training Academy, has been brought in specifically to train students with because everything is based upon hands-on learning. The more you touch, the more you feel, the more you examine and operate, the quicker and the longer you learn the information. So come join us here at the National RV Training Academy. We'll walk you through the programs that we have so that way you can be a success as an RV inspector or as an RV technician. Many times we have to prove to ourselves, and I want you to step out, and if you'll step out, I'll hand you a hand. Now, what I'm going to require of you is, is that when you come, you apply yourself and you apply yourself like that young man did in Indiana. And then the day will come, you're going to run across somebody else that's going to need a hand. They'll maybe be broke down in an RV park or something's happening and you're going to extend a hand to them. You're going to pay it forward. Now, once you finish that RV maintenance course, I mean, you can do like this young man did and just go right into a maintenance business of your own, of, of, of you know, or like this 
you know, this dealership says, Cooper, if you if you got any more of these these people like this, if you can just get the RV maintenance in them, he said, I can put them to work doing PDIs and, work, and working as a service advisor. I can put them to work. But let's say that you want to do more than that. When you finish that RV maintenance course, you've got two pathways that you can go. One is you can go and become an RV inspector, which is going to take you one more week. And we've got a, a really sharp young man and, and his wife that they teach the advanced inspector class. They're going to take you through and show you how to scope an RV. There's a procedure. If you'll do it, you'll save yourself a ton of energy walking around and zigzagging back and forth. They're going to show you how to use this software that we have that, was, that is designed specifically to do home inspections. And they have created templates for us to use it for the RV inspectors. Because let's face it, an RV inspector is nothing more, an RV inspection is really nothing more than a home inspection, but for an RV. And so you're going to be able to create, you know, a 75 to 150 page inspection report on everything from travel trailers all the way up to these big motorized. So that's one path that you can go. The next path is going to be, I'm going to re recommend you to really take a look at this one if you're thinking about starting a business, because the federal government has given us opportunities to start businesses and get tax breaks that you can't get any other way. And trust me, I learned this the hard way. I'm out here humping it, trying to figure out a way to make money. And because I had my structure, my business structure all wrong, I wasn't able to take advantage of some of the tax benefits that were available to me. We're going to show you how to do not only the technical, but we're going to show you how to do the business piece. And so what's going to happen is we're going to say, okay, if you want to start a mobile service, if you really want to get the credentials that you need to be taken serious and to know that you can do this job, I'm going to ask you to then step back and take a look at start taking the four advanced classes. We do a full week of nothing but, but air conditioners take them apart, troubleshoot them, figure out what's going on. And then we're going to give you a week of refrigerators. How to troubleshoot them, determine, is it the cooling coils, is it the heating element, what's going on here? And then we have another week that's nothing but furnaces and water heaters. And you're going to be taking these babies apart and you'll see they're not complicated. It's just that somebody needs to show you how and then you can do it. The way our life is changing since COVID-19, we're seeing a lot of adjustments. People are saying, I have to make some changes in my life. I'm going to change a new career. Maybe I haven't really enjoyed what I've been doing. So they come in and they'll take the RV maintenance course, and then we'll see them really begin to blossom when they start taking the, the next four weeks of advanced classes. So what we're doing there is we're doing a lot of hands-on because get it out of the theory and let's start applying it. But you know, one of the byproducts we're also seeing is there's been some really strong relationships developed between the different different students. And what I'm seeing is there's a lot of telephone exchange, telephone numbers are exchanged, a lot of things taking place, and some friendships are being developed. And so these friendships are going to pay off big time down the road because what will happen is one of these folks will be up against the wall, sort of scratching their head, trying to figure out what's going on with this thing, whatever they're working on, and they can pick up the phone and say, hey, have you encountered this? And there's that camaraderie. And sometimes that's what we need in the industry when we feel like we're the Lone Ranger. And something, if nothing else, COVID-19 did to us was is it made us feel isolated. And what I'm finding is, is that when these folks start developing these relationships with these other students in their class, that isolation goes away. And so there begins to be that bonding and you're looking after one another. And we start to see that the confidence of these technicians come up. And when the confidence comes up, the fear goes away. I'd encourage you to come and take the full five weeks. There's continuity that's developed there. You'll start out doing a lot of theory and then you start understanding some basics. But what happens is when you start taking the other four weeks, the advanced classes, it ties a lot of things together for you and gives you continuity between what you learned in week one to week five. It helps you create credibility to the consumers that are looking to hire you.
And then our final week is what we call our capstone week. It's our exterior systems. It's going to deal with maintaining roofs and how to seal roofs. And then we do slide outs. And because trust me, you're going to run across people out there that are stuck and they, they can't leave because the slides are out and you're going to be able to rescue them. You're going to be able to say, let me show you how to override this and we'll get you, get you where you need to be. And then we'll look at the running gear, the bearings, the hitches and things like that. So when you complete that fourth and final advanced class, you are then ready to set for the certified exam. Now what we do is we have a, we have a full day of nothing but prep class, getting you ready to take it because what we know is most people are not good test takers. And so what we've got to do is we've got to coach you through it. We've been down this road many, many times. So we know what you're going up against. Now, we also have found out there's a lot of people that they say, you know, mm, I can take things apart. I'm really great at that, but I just can't take them tests. Don't worry about it. We got you covered because like you said, we're going to take the, the pre-study, but when it comes time to take your exam, you're going to be able to take it either written or oral. Now this works out real well for folks that maybe English is not their primary language. So you've got someone there who's got the test just like you do sitting there in that classroom and they read the question to you and then they give you the answers. And it's amazing the amount of knowledge that's there, but somehow or another there's a breakdown to getting it from the head to the paper if you're trying to read it and you're struggling just with the learning of with the reading process. So you'll be given the opportunity to go either way. Same grade, who cares? Just all we want is to make sure you know what you're doing, what you're talking about before you step out there in the world. Now, the other thing that we're going to require of you, and you will have already done some of this, and this is the good thing about it, you're going to have to demonstrate as another part of the exam, we're going to have certain things that are set up for you to be able to troubleshoot. Some refrigerators, some air conditioners, because we know some people are better hands-on, others are better at the, the exams. So by putting those two together, you'd be able to get your grades that you need to pass. So what we're after is to give you the opportunity, let's see if I've got, oh, here it is right here, to get this patch right here. So that way you'll have the certificate and you'll also have the patch so you can so, show people, I have been there. Now here's the beautiful thing, you've done it in five weeks. You didn't have to go off to some school. When I was teaching at the technical school there in Waco, it took a year to go through that program, a year. Most families don't have that. One, they don't have the time. Life's in crisis. We got to get something done. Okay. So my point is, is I want to get you in here and it's less expensive than going to some trade school. And we get you in here. It's very pointed. It's addressed for the adult learner. And that's why we need you to be here doing the hands-on learning. So that way, when you launch from here, you've got your business. 80% of the problems that go with that we have with these RVs are easy to access and easy to fix. We just need to show you how. So folks, it's not as dark as you think. There's hope. Use that left foot and step out and we're going to walk this thing out. Come here. We'll give you everything we've got. Every one of the instructors is dedicated to seeing you succeed. But first, you got to take the step. So the first step I need you to take is go sign up for that RV maintenance course at nrvta.com. And down in the bottom where it says who referred you, put Zoom. Welcome to Athens. All roads lead to Athens, Texas. While all other businesses are struggling trying to make it, someone trying to struggle to even keep their doors open, we are busting at the seams. We today are opening up our class, our RV maintenance class. We've never had a class this big before. We've said over 50 individuals that have come here to learn to be our inspectors, but they've also come to be technicians. And what's cool about this, they've come from all over the country to be here to learn so that way they can go back down. Todd has got some new equipment he's going to roll out this week and show people how it's just easier for him to train with. 
Howard's got, wow, Howard's got a lot of stuff going on with this inspection process. So come join us. We got a lot to get done this week. I would like to do the inspection part of it. Mike is very technical, so he's going to do the, the hard labor part of it, I guess. Hard labor. <laughs> So you'll be doing inspections and you'll be doing repairs. Um, we run mobile calls, send out vans. My brother's a tech as well, runs the camera. I'm Amy Coons and this is my husband John. We wanted to find something that the two of us could do um, while on the road to have another stream of income. And so John in January did the first level RV inspection training and he's doing the second level next week and I'm doing the first level this week so that I can be his partner in this future.